making industrial hardcore kicks using the frequency split method. Luckily Apple Studio provides all the tools that we need in order to do the split. Some distortion plugins that I use in this video are going to be third party however. Let's start with the frequency splitter and why to use it. With industrial kicks we want to keep our low frequencies clean when compared to the mid and high frequencies. This is where the frequency split comes in. We can isolate the mid frequencies for distortion purposes and leave the lows and mids untouched. After splitting I like to group all of the split channels to one single bus channel where we can glue the sound together. How to use the frequency splitter? We are going to use the frequency splitter in the same channel as our original kick is in. The routing of this plugin can be confusing at first look, but we are going to cover it all. First of all, you wanna deselect the output routing from the channel where the frequency splitter is. Next, use the sidechain to this track send mode to send the audio from our kick channel to three separate mixer channels. Name the channels to low, mid and high to be more organized. Next up, select the low, mid and high channels and route these to a group channel. Now that the most confusing part is over, we can go back to our lovely frequency splitter and select the band outputs from the send section. The processing with the splitted frequencies. I mainly leave the low frequencies as they are because we are obviously using a ready to go hall kick so it already has a solid low end. The mid frequencies. This is where I usually do more processing. With this one I wanted to destroy the sound pretty badly so I started with through the squeeze which is a bit reduction distortion plugin. With this we are basically quantizing the sound by reducing the beat rate aka removing the points where the amplitude of the waveform is captured. This can be visually demonstrated in Serum. Here you can see a perfect sine wave, smooth as ever. Now, by using the guantize warping mode, we can achieve the beat reduction style sound. You can imagine that this sine wave has multiple points where the amplitude is measured and by removing these points the shape of the sign gets more and more distorted and so does the sound. After this I wanted to add the lost gain back by using saturation knob. Not much to explain in here. And finally the raw distortion with fast distortion too. The high frequencies. I added high selfing boost to add some clarity to the sound. Next up, the split channel group. This group is like the hydraulic press channel where all of these split channels are pressed together. And if you follow the hydraulic press channel on YouTube, you might notice that sometimes that press actually shapes the items to look completely different when crossed. That is exactly what is happening here as well. I am using bell notch EQ shapes to shape the sound. Notice the automation with the mid band. This gives the sound more punch where the transient first hits. I duck the EQ down for the tail to achieve the bassy mesh. After this, I am using the trash 2 in multi-band mode again to not mess my low frequencies just yet. Within trash 2, only the mid band is active with low amount of mix. This next plugin is going to be interesting one.
Preda Ohm is a multi-band compression and distortion unit that can destroy your sound pretty good. Here I am automating the band 2 cutoff frequency to move the distortion unit in the frequency spectrum. Again, with this I am trying to get the transient of the kick pop up and of course distorting the sound. You can think this automation as an EQ automation before distortion, although this is not exactly the same thing because we are automating the crossover frequency between these two bands and notice that these two bands have very different settings applied. After all this, I am using an EQ automation to shape the sound before pretty hard limiting. The amount of input volume going into this limiter is ridiculous, something like plus 50 decibels, I don't know. But it seems to hold up. <laughs> of course, you are not going to do anything like this while mixing. This is purely sound design and I am abusing all of these plugins to give me the results I want. That's the beautiful thing in sound design. Just as an ending note, I wanna go over through this whole project, like generally, so uh, you can get a better picture of what these effects actually do. do. So uh, yeah, the dry sample is here. It is one of my kicks from my sample pack, you can find it from the hard techno kick section. It is this one over here. And the end result sounds like this. And um, I'm going to disable all the group processing for now. And let's disable all the mid effects. So you notice what I'm doing here. I am crushing the sound with beat reduction, adding the gain, adding distortion, and that is basically it. Then we go to the group channel, within here, here you can see the insane gain that the Preda Ohm is giving, so I'm going to activate the limiter. And um, notice how big of a difference this EQ makes in this position before the limiter. And this has something to do with the huge amount of input volume that I'm using to drive it into the limiter. So <laughs> that's interesting. So that's the sound generally. A uh, couple of things that you might want to know. Um, you want, might want to use the linear phase filtering mode. As you can hear, without the linear phase mode, the phase shift is not exactly what we want, because sometimes in sound design the phase shifting it's not a problem, it can be an effect, but in this case it definitely sounds better with the linear phase filtering on. And yeah, by the way, if you uh, don't know how to do kicks like this, for example, you can of course just buy my sample pack, but if you don't want to buy samples in general. I have a gated kick tutorial on my channel. It is a pretty old video, if I remember correctly. And there is a lot of great tutorials on YouTube about hall kicks that you can check out and make hall kicks and use this technique to distort the hall kicks to come up with something industrial, hardcore-like. So that's the video. Check out my sample packs, my preset packs on my website. There is also a free hardcore kick pack and free template for FL Studio. So thanks for watching and see you next time.